This is Dr. Stephen Cohen, and this video shows surgery for a diabetic tractional retinal detachment. I've outlined the detachment here in blue. You can see that it's very close to the center of the macula. This patient was referred in by a medical retina specialist who felt it was time for surgery, and I definitely agree. You can see on the OCT scan how close the detachment is to the center of the retina. The initial step for these surgeries is to remove as much traction as you can that's able to remove safely with the vitrector. Sometimes you can do the entire case with the vitrectomy instrument, but sometimes the plaques are too densely adherent to the retina. I always tell people removing scar tissue from the retina is a lot like removing a label from a bottle. It's difficult to tell until you start to peel it how hard it's going to be to remove. Here you can see me trying to peel this plaque, but it was definitely too densely adherent. I use the scissors both to cut free the stalks that are attaching the scar tissue to the retina and also to dissect the scar tissue away from the retina to create, create a plane that allows for the scar tissue to be cut free either with the scissors or with the vitrectomy cutter. I think it's important to remove the traction that's close to the macula. The areas in the periphery I don't think are as critical to be removed and therefore uh, you'll see in this case there is one fairly large plaque in the peripheral retina that I leave, and the patient doesn't suffer because of it. I was able to release the traction from this area using the scissors, and then the areas around the nerve often can be dissected using the vitrectomy cutter, both to gently pull on the retina and also to trim any areas of adhesion. Once all of these areas are free, I trim some of the peripheral vitreous off, and then add laser. I'd put air in the eye first and then laser, and then ultimately I did put gas in this patient's eye. There's the area of peripheral traction that you'll see the photo of preoperatively, and then I left it in postoperatively, the area settled down nicely. This patient did well. Um, over 50% of patients do well with surgery, but some people can lose vision. She was 20, 25, three months postoperatively.